Now, my friend Ivy from the beautiful islands of Cebu, Philippines, will share her story with us. Thank you. Sorry, I have to. <laughs> I'll be speaking in my dialect, so Cebuano, and I'll translate it in English. Maayong hapon kaninyong tanan. Dako ang akong dungog na ipaambit kaninyo ang akong istorya bahin sa akong pag-anhi dari sa Canada gikan sa Pilipinas. Hinaot nga akong istorya makadasig o makadayig kaninyo kung unsa katinuod nga bulahan nga kita nagpuyo ni ining matahum nga nasod Canada ang tinuod nga amihanon kusog maimayahon o gawasnon it means in english good afternoon everyone i am greatly honored to share with you my story about my journey here in canada from the philippines may my story inspire you and make you appreciate how truly blessed we are that we live in this beautiful country, Canada, the true north, strong, glorious, and free. The title of my story is called The Tiny White Boots. My name is Ivy Evelyn Taneo Alenten. I was born on an island called Cebu City, located in the central Visayas region of the Philippines. When I was four years old, my parents gave me a pair of tiny white boots that had red and blue, the colors of our country's flag around the top edge. When I tried them on for the first time, I was so excited. They were comfortable and smelled like new leather. I felt so special because they were different from my other shoes. Our tropical country is hot and humid, so we would usually wear slippers called chinelas. I wore my white boots for family gatherings and the fiesta celebration where relatives enjoy meals together. It was our annual tradition to visit our grandparents' house to celebrate the Santo Nino Sinulog Festival. In my white boots, surrounded by my extended family, I felt a strong sense of belonging. My father helped me a lot when I was growing up. I went to him often for advice. When I was 22 years old, my parents supported me in my training to become a caregiver so that I could come to Canada, where there were more opportunities, better health care, and cultural diversity. But once I got here, it was not easy. I was on my own, facing challenges, and starting all over again. Growing up, I spoke Cebuano at home, but my schooling was in English. However, when I arrived in Calgary, I still found it hard to communicate clearly. I was scared of being misunderstood because of my accent. I worried about getting lost in the city, especially in the winter. <laughs> I had to learn how to embrace the, difficult, uh, the, dif the different climate. In Calgary, I did not have that sense of warmth and belonging that my white boots had given me as a child. I feared judgment and rejection. I wasn't always true to myself 
because I wanted to fit in and be accepted. In December of 2018, I went back to the Philippines for the first time. I was with my husband and my daughter. She had never been there before, and we made sure she had a wonderful time. My father took us to Happy Beach Cebu. It's a water park resort with giant, colorful inflatables and floating playgrounds. Where sail, we were sailed on the pink and yellow boats. <laughs> when my father dropped us off at the airport for our flight back to Calgary, I had a thought that it might be the last time that I would see him. So I did not even say goodbye. I just said, See you next time, Papa Rudy, and hug him tightly. Two years later, my father passed away due to cardiac arrest. My only brother passed away a few weeks after that. It was so hard to lose two loved ones in just one month, especially during Christmas season and during the COVID pandemic where travel restrictions were strict. I was not able to go home to the Philippines to pay my last respects to my father and brother. This made me feel isolated. But as an immigrant, I had experienced feeling alone and could deal with it. My daughter was also feeling lonely because she could not see her friends during the pandemic. I was able to use my experience with feeling isolated to help her too. It took 21 years to build confidence and, authentic and authenticity. But now in Canada, I have a loving and supportive family who gives me comfort, security, and strength. I finally have the feeling of belonging back that I had when my parents gave me that pair of tiny white boots as if they knew that one day I would be looking for warmth in a colder country so far from our family home. Dagang salamat sa pagani. Thank you so much for coming.